Mark here for Mark's Max Muscle. And today I'm going to be doing a profile on a legendary bodybuilder by the name of Reg Park. This profile was actually fan requested, so a big thanks to Giovanni and an excellent choice, I might add. So without further ado, let's take a look at Reg Park. Reg was born in Leeds, England in 1928. In his prime, he stood 6 feet 1 inch and weighed around 220 pounds. Reg had an outstanding physique, and in my opinion, had a perfect balance between muscularity, size, and proportion. By the time he was 16 years old, Reg had began his interest in bodybuilding. In 1948, Reg would witness the very first NABBA Mr. Universe competition. This event featured bodybuilding legends John Grimmick and Steve Reeves. I believe this sparked something inside of Reg that really made him believe that he could beat any one of those guys, given the proper training, of course. So, a mere one year later, Reg would enter and win the 1949 Mr. Britain competition. He would continue on his winning ways with a first place finish at the 1950 Mr. Europe contest. Now it was time to step on the stage against Steve Reeves and there was no grander stage than the NABBA Mr. Universe contest and in 1950 these two bodybuilding greats went head-to-head. -head. Reg would place a disappointing second place to Reeves, even though some people still today will argue and say Reg was the rightful winner of the 1950 Mr. Universe competition. In my opinion, both men looked great, but I think Reg was maybe perhaps in a little bit better shape Although it is very hard to tell with just a few black and white pictures. So I'll just leave it at that. In 1951, Reg would not be denied, as he would finally capture the Mr. Universe title. Now, with the biggest title in bodybuilding to his credit, Reg decided to retire from competition. That is, until 1959 when he made his way back to the bodybuilding stage. In fact, that year he would capture the NABBA Pro Mr. Universe title. Now, with nothing more to prove, Reg Park would stop competing once again. It was here where Reg decided to give acting a go. He would actually have a recurring role as Hercules, following in the footsteps of fellow bodybuilding great Steve Reeves. After several films, Reg would make his way back yet again to the bodybuilding stage. At this point, I'm sure nobody ever thought Reg would officially retire from bodybuilding. He unbelievably took the title of Mr. Universe for a third time in 1965. This was an incredible feat, considering he won his first Universe title way back in 1951. Reg would compete several more times for the Mr. Universe title, only to place second and third, respectively. He would compete one last time for the 1973 Mr. Universe. He placed second to Dennis Tenorino. After a devastating loss to the likes of Tenorino, Reg Park would then officially retire from bodybuilding for good. 
Reg Park will definitely go down in bodybuilding history as the man that changed the look of the sport. He ushered in a more muscular look, which in my opinion was one of, if not the first example of a modern bodybuilder. He is Reg Park, a true bodybuilding legend. And I'm not, uh, I'm not opposed to adults uh, taking drugs and steroids or whatever they want to take um, because they're adults enough, or should be adults enough, to know what they're taking. The thing that disturbs me is the influence that they have on the kids. The kids knowingly take them because they know that their heroes take them and they think this is the thing to do. This is not the thing to do. Life is not all about winning a Mr. Olympia. I'm not concerned how people look when they're 25s and 30s. I'm concerned about how they look when they're 75s and 80s and that's Well, that about does it for that one. Let me know in the comments section below if there's any other legendary bodybuilders like Reg Park that you want me to do a profile on. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hit like and subscribe if you did. And that's it for now. This is Mark for Mark's Max Muscle.